the new expedition has begun. Omega. This golden diamond leads to it. Expedition 12 Omega, five weeks remaining from today. Start an expedition to go on a journey alongside the whole community. The exclusive phase rewards earned on expeditions are available to all saves. Expedition 12 Omega brings travelers together from across the furthest reaches of reality as they consider their place in the universe. Select equipment. Select your starting equipment beginning the expedition will start a new journey. Reach the space anomaly to retrieve stored equipment. You may switch freely between your expedition and primary saves at any time. Confirm your loadout to begin. Okay, what I picked was um, radiation protection, a thermal, toxic, another thermal, life support, um, hazard protection bonus. It gives general bonuses to each. Uh, movement and defense. Um, I pick the general things that we tend to use like oxygen and carbon, chromatic metal, the atlas pass. I wanted to see if the salvage glass, if I can open it up for stuff in, in the expedition. All right, uh, so you can see what I got up here. If you have questions, ask underneath the video. Click start expedition. Beginning the expedition will start a new journey and place you upon an unknown world. Reach the space anomaly to retrieve stored equipment. You may switch freely between your expedition and primary saves at any time. Do you wish it to continue? Accept. Gamma, first contact. Tab. See what we got available here. Starship. Uh, let's see if the multi tool is working. All right. F. All right, C. The expedition has begun. Expeditions are short, directed voyages along the whole No Man's Sky community. Complete milestones to earn rewards and new equipment. Complete all the milestones in a phase for special exclusive items. View progress in the expedition page. Escape. 
reach the Space Anomaly to retrieve your stored items. Follow a path through the galaxy to each of the rendezvous points to earn large rewards. Bases, discoveries, and other progress will be shared and merged with your primary save. Switch back to your primary save at any time. Exclusive expedition rewards can be accessed on any save. Okay, let's do C again. All right, let's head for the sodium. Oh, uh, okay, we just, uh, let's head for the hydrogen. Make life support gel to refill the oxygen as I see the oxygen going down. And I'm just gonna do this to my ship. See the picture of the ship? That's my starship. We'll head that way. Let's see what we got available in the exosuit. See, not much carbon except for what I just mined, it looks like. Oh, I got a different ship. Not the one that I left on the anomaly. Cute. Like all of our ships are here. Traveler Shopman. All right, so somebody left a beacon. You start leaving too many beacons, and then nobody will be able to understand anything. All right, pure ferrite and dihydrogen jelly. Do we have a portable refiner? Let me get more ferrite and stuff while we're here. for the laser it ran out it takes carbon to refill so you definitely want to get some carbon plants give you carbon uh, okay so that's a milestone documenting plants I do this because a lot of them give a second item like oxygen so I usually scan before I mine the resource. Notice sodium is second on this. We get that because we scan the rock already before. really need to get out of here. It's crowded with people. Uh, looks like there's buried technology. Do I have a train manipulator? I hit G. 
switches to the terrain manipulator. All right, emergency log. Log recovery initiated for iteration 4924X. LETO, greater evacuation noted at date stamp 2338.2. Vessel distress signal at date stamp 2401.4. Transponder, transponder offline. Catastrophic error, pilot, pilot deleted. Browse logs. Access attempt detected, pilot signature match 98%. Read access granted. Current login signature matches deleted pilot. Conclusion, deletion was an error. Pilot signature restored. Erroneous logs deleted. Welcome back, LETO. Repair the ship. The ship. Hmm. We'll need pure ferrite and dihydrogen jelly. So first, 50 pure ferrite. Ferrite goes one to one with pure ferrite. You need dihydrogen to make dihydrogen jelly, so hopefully that dihydrogen we grab will be enough. Twenty-eight out of forty. here. Ah, uh, E. Uh, Alright, C. H. Not just getting what I need. I'm just gonna take all of what's available because it's here, and I'm already doing this. So um, I'm gonna tell you the principle is low-hanging fruit. If the fruit is easy to grab, you might as well get it while it's easy to get. If you know you're gonna eventually need it. So it's wise, you know, to plan ahead and just grab it now, knowing that you're going to need it later. We know we're going to need dihydrogen later. We know we're going to need carbon. We know we're going to need ferrite. Okay. So we have the pure ferrite. Now we should have enough to make dihydrogen jelly. All right, now the pulse engine, I need a metal plate. Metal plate takes 50 ferrite. So you have to have the ferrite dust to make it. All right, what else needs to be repaired? We'll need 40 copper. Um, Hydraulics, oxygen, we grabbed oxygen. So the condensed carbon oxygen. Now magnetized ferrite comes from pure ferrite. We took enough, we need... Let's fix this hull fracture. It's 80 magnetized ferrite. So, it means I'm going to need, I'll use C to have it, 
and I'll need about 160 pure ferrite to make 80 magnetized ferrite. So pure ferrite goes one to one. Uh, 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 ferrite to pure ferrite is one to one. But to get magnetized ferrite, every two pure ferrite is going to give you one magnetized ferrite. Okay, let's repair this hull fracture. Alright, now the last item is these rusted circuits. Now it looks like the ship will already fly, but we'll need 40 copper for that, and we'll find that in the next episode. Pilot identification sequence 100%. Biosignature match found. Pilot Echo, L E T O. There's that word again. Exosuit, whatever Leto is. Exosuit secure connection error. Suit signature mismatch detected. Reboot required. Restart ship systems. The strange messages have barely faded from the screen before I find my fingers darting smoothly over the starship's instrument panel, resetting unfamiliar switches as if it were second nature. Whoever inhabited this ship before has left a deep presence, an echo in the machine. Thank you for watching.